said the word mitzvah, and mitzvah is a good deed. Tonight you being here, we appreciate this for United Hebrew Temple. We appreciate this. This is, this is a good thing, a mitzvah. It's a good thing. I'll give you another example. When Obama was reelected, it was a mitzvah for half the country. <laughs> for the other half, it was a shanda. <laughs> and shanda is a bad thing. It's a horrible thing. It's a shame. Like, boy, he doesn't have any money. He didn't make a living. He doesn't have any money. It's a shanda. A Jew without money is a shanda. <laughs> Fakat is my Jewish F word. This is the greatest thing about the Yiddish language. I don't have to go there. Jews don't have to go there with the F word. Fakat, if you haven't figured it out by now, means screwed up, okay? And you can say this with as much passion. Oh, he's so fakat. You can yell it out your car window. Oh, go fakat yourself. <laughs> You're mad. But you sound cute, you know? And then you got a little one in the back seat, and they're like, Mommy, what does go for cook yourself mean? And then we're laughing. It's a language that keeps on giving. Fakat. It's everything. It's a noun. It's a verb. It's an adjective. It's something that the lady in the house might say to her family while getting dressed for an affair. Where are you going with that fakat outfit? No, you look fakat. So I'm walking my dog in the neighborhood. I get more material, okay? And I run into my neighbor. She's Jewish, of course. She just got back from New York. So we're making conversation. So did you see any plays? She said she saw Kinky Boots. I said, Kinky Boots, cool. Harvey Firestein? Yeah, and this uh, music by Cindy Lauper. I heard great things about it. Did you like it? My neighbor goes like this. Oh! I knew she liked it. That was it. It was the Jewish awe. I heard the biggest awe is while dining. Uncle Selden, did you like the veal? Oh! It's like a one restaurant noise review. Oh! Raw honey, as sweet as can be. She's got a message.